Hi, I'm Ioana and I work for the left in the European Parliament and today I'm gonna tell you a story. A story of international crime, corruption, accusations, persecutions and plot twists. You would hope this would be fictional, but sadly it's real and it involves the pharmaceutical giant Novartis. Everything began in Athens in January 2017 thanks to the essential information revealed by two whistleblowers whose identities remain strictly confidential, the left-wing Syriza government launched an official investigation into the Swiss drug maker Novartis for corruption and bribery. Novartis engaged in a scheme to bribe private and public doctors in order to promote the company's products and boost prescriptions for expensive anti-cancer drugs. At that time, the head of the Corruption Prosecutor's Office, Eleni Tulupaki, forwarded to the Parliament a file with testimonies of protected witnesses and documents from FBI. Furthermore, investigative journalists also revealed details on the criminal scheme, which put under the spotlight and consequent investigation 10 politicians. Among them, there were two former right-wing prime ministers and other eight former ministers, so what was a story of crime and corruption quickly became also a plot of great political tension between left-wing party in government and the political opposition. In 2019, Kyriakos Mitsotakis from the right-wing party Nea Demokratia succeeded to the leader of left-wing party Syriza, Alexis Tsipras, as head of government. Here comes the plot twist. The new government in place launched the prosecution of the prosecutor herself, Eleni Tulupaki, who was investigating the Novartis scandal and called for the creation of a pre-investigation committee and to the scrutinization of the former Syriza minister against corruption, Dimitris Papagelopoulos. Mitsotakis' government was trying to change the narrative and attempting to present the scandal as a political conspiracy. Can you imagine that? However, in July 2020, Novartis had to pay over $300 million in fines and sanctions to the US government for violation of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. All of this was possible thanks to the information provided by the two Greek whistleblowers. You would think this is a happy ending? Wait for it! The actual right-wing government has not yet turned against Novartis to collect the compensation in favor of the Greek citizens. And on top of that, two of the journalists who investigated the scandal, Kostas Vaksevanis and Yana Papadakou, are accused of political conspiracy and the former Minister Against Corruption, Dimitris Papagelopoulos, is accused of falsely incriminating political opponents through the Novartis pharmaceutical scandal. We asked Yana Papadakou, one of the journalists who investigated the scandal, to talk about her own experience. Η δημοσιογραφία δεν είναι έγκλημα. Μα κατηγορούν τόσο εμένα όσο και τον Κώστα Βαξεβάνη για τι αποκαλύψει μα για δύο μεγάλα σκάνδαλα που στήχησαν εκατομμύρια ευρώ στο ελληνικό δημόσιο: το σκάνδαλο τη Νοβάρτη και το σκάνδαλο τη λίστα φοροφυγάδων που αποκαλείται στη χώρα μου ω λίστα Λαγκάρτ. Με αυτόν τον τρόπο ποινικοποιούν την ερευνητική δημοσιογραφία και το ρεπορτάζ, χαρακτηρίζοντά μα ω συμμορία, καταπατώντα κάθε έννοια ελευθερία του τύπου και βεβαίω του κράτου δικαίου. Η Ελλάδα, όπως έχει πει και η Αντιπρόεδρος της Κομισιόν, η κυρία Βέρα Γιούροβα, βρίσκεται στις προβληματικές χώρες για την ελευθερία του τύπου. Η ηγεσία της Ευρωπαϊκής Ένωσης πρέπει να απαντήσει στις δύο ερωτήσεις των Ευρωβουλευτών του ΣΥΡΙΖΑ Προοδευτική Συμμαχία για το πώς σκέφτεται, προτίθεται να αντιδράσει σε αυτή την κατάφορη παραβίαση της ελευθερίας του τύπου. Πρόσφατα εκλήθη ως κατηγορούμενη στην ίδια υπόθεση και η εισαγγελέα που ερεύνησε το σκάνδαλο Νοβάρτης, Ελένη Τουλουπάκη, καθώς και δύο συνάδελφοί της εισαγγελική λειτουργή που είναι εν ενεργεία δικαστική. Με το θέμα θα ασχοληθεί και η Επιτροπή κατά της Διαφθοράς του Ευρωπαϊκού Κοινοβουλίου. Στην πατρίδα μου μια παλιά παροιμία λέει ότι η σιωπή είναι χρυσός. Σε αυτή την περίπτωση όμως, της δίωξη δημοσιογράφων και εισαγγελέων, η σιωπή είναι συνενοχή. We also heard from journalist and current Syriza MEP, Stelios Kouloglou, who is a strong defender of media freedom and press independence. Media freedom is very, very important to fight corruption. That's why in the left we have established uh, a word for the defenders of the information and for the whistleblowers. They are telling the truth despite the dangers they are facing for their career and their life. How this story is going to end? 
we still don't know. What is absolutely clear is that judicial authorities examining this matter must act with full regard for press freedom standards and the function of investigative journalism in democratic societies. The rule of law in Greece is in a dangerous decline. The conservative government is covering up the huge scandal of Novartis. Judges, prosecutors who serve the public interest and journalists who seek the truth are prosecuted as criminals. These steps taken in my country resemble those of Orban and Morawiecki. This dangerous regression of democracy and the rule of law must stop now. Stay tuned for updates on this story if you've liked the video and please don't forget to give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel.